Carmen Vandenberg and um, basically my whole life at the moment is about playing guitar and creating music, well anything to do with music really. Um, I started playing when I was seven. Um, it wasn't the first instrument, I first started playing the violin um, but then I kept on doing this in front of um, a cassette of Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock so I think my parents didn't realise maybe she really needs to play guitar. So then I just started playing guitar. Well, I did, I've done some amazing... T my first ever tour was with Kate Nash, like, probably around the world. And it was an amazing experience because she, she's an incredible artist and the whole crew, the whole band was, you know, an amazing group of people. I got to see parts of the world I'd never seen and play in front of crowds I've never played. Um, you know, and that's really fulfilling. Then recently, I've just come back from doing a tour with my new band, and that was very low, but I mean, very low budget, smaller crowds. But you know, we did it ourselves. We put all our savings and went to LA. So that's fulfilling in a whole different sort of way because you, you're putting your own music out there. Well, obviously, Jimi Hendrix cause it's kind of the reason why I started playing. Then. Um, I, I'm really into blues, so I'd have to say Albert King, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Buddy Guy, Buddy Waters, and you know all those legends. And then obviously the blues within rock. So I'd say Jimmy Page. No, none really. Um, when I started going to music school around fourteen, fifteen, then there was a couple, but hardly any. I don't know, I think it being such a male-dominated industry, um, you know, it might not creep up to young girls, you know, maybe I can do that. It, that ship is probably a factor, it's like you have to get beyond the point that if you don't have a role model and inspiration, you have to be your own inspiration. But yeah, definitely any, any woman can play an instrument as good as a male. It just takes the time and the practice and and the, you know, feeling confident enough to do it, which I think sometimes our society doesn't allow women. The majority of men who think that women can't play, uh, I think that needs to be changed. The exact way of going about that is, well, there's many different options, but I think it's just us women that are doing it, you know, motivating each other to keep on practicing and just, you know, you get, you get, you get thrown a lot of abuse, I guess, being a female musician. You just kind of have to shrug it off and keep on going. You know, uh, pick up a guitar and, and practice. I don't know, listen to all your favourite artists, all your albums, whether they're male or female, and just play along to it. And then, you know, find other girls or boys that you, you know, that like your same kind of music and start a band. Because um, playing with other people, is, I think, is as important as playing in your bedroom. I mean, you need to just continuously develop and being creative as well, writing your own stuff. Um, but it's just perseverance. I mean, that's, I think, the only way. Is if you believe in something, you just got to keep on doing it. It's called Bones, and it's a three-piece. And, and I like the direction it's taken because it's like rock meets a bit of electronic beats. and. Um, it's just interesting, it's just yet another adventure, you know. I can't say I know where it's going to end up or, you know, where it might go, but you know, with music I think you just embark on journeys and you just see where the wind takes you, I guess. <laughs>